Hold on, you coming? Sorry, man. I had a little problems with my pants. I think I shrunk them or something. All right, let's wait. So all we know is adolescent male in some kind of car accident. The woman on the phone was so hysterical, they barely cut the address. That's your face. Is it the size of my hand? Oh, you didn't squeeze it. Now you're not supposed to squeeze them. I didn't squeeze it. I just kind of burned it with some zinc cream. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I just hope it clears up before they take my picture for the job count. Man, a, a guy calendar seems weird. I like it. And it raises money for the athletic department. Oh, I just hope I don't get February again. Holding that big pink heart kind of makes you look like a doof. Yeah, the goofy look on your face didn't help much either. <laughs> right. You think I'm letting him out in traffic? You're crazy. He couldn't pull into the garage without uh, hitting something. I just screaming at him the whole time. I had to scream at him. Look how he drives. I have no sir. patience with him. Because he uses it all up. Looks like Godzilla meets the seven dwarves. Uh, sir. He's too uncoordinated to drive. Because you make him nervous. It's your fault. My fault! Yes. Sir, we've checked your son. Since there was no injury, could you please sign this? Look at this mess! Blondie boy is digging a hole for the new mailbox. Fine, I'll dig the hole. Hey! No lip, young man. Uh, sir, the report. We need you to sign Where's this. Where's he going? Where's Lonnie going? Park the car in the driveway. Are you nuts? That's how this whole thing started. No, it's your fault it started, because you make him nervous. Lonnie! You are not moving that car! Stop telling me what to do. I am moving the car! <laughs> I'm all right. My baby! My poor baby! What did you do to my baby? It's his fault. He made me use the wrong gear. Poor Lonnie. He wrecked both cars without ever leaving the drive. Get it. I washed them the same as always. Hey, Tyler. You know your pants? Yeah. They're mine. You picked up the wrong pair. <laughs> Great. I'm wearing uh, girls' pants. Hey, you should have paid attention during that special health class in eighth grade. <laughs> hey, you guys. They're posting the calendar jocks on the school website. I'm open for September. Miss September it is. <laughs> Get him! Okay, Lean Dean got February. Uh, Mike Williams got April. Oh, poor Mike. Got to hold an umbrella and feel for rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hank, you got June. Congratulations. Oh, I got June. <laughs> June's pretty good. You know, no stupid props. <laughs> True. October, Jim Hall. November, Fred Moeller. And last but not least, for December, Richard Keith. Tyler, I'm sorry. Don't be. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, uh, congratulations. I'm cool. You know, it's cool. You are many things, my friend. But right now, cool is not one of them. Oh, I don't understand. It has to be here. What? My little pink top that I always wear with these pants. What are you so torqued up about? Mom, she's wearing my top. It was on my side of the room, finders keepers. Oh, well, Mr. Mukow was on my side of the room, so I could just twist off his little head. Mom, stop! Val, give back Mr. Mukow. Brooke, please wash and return your sister's top. What's that smell? Nothing. What? Perfume. Better not be mine. It's mine. I got it at the mall. Ah, let me see. This is jungle musk for all those hot, steamy nights in seventh grade. Ugh. 
Brooke, honey, I, I think maybe you need a lighter, more age-appropriate fragrance. Now, would you please take that top off before someone thinks you're Britney Spears? Thank you. Fine. Then can I go to the mall with uh, Jen and Nicole and maybe uh, get some friendship earrings? Sure, honey. I've got friendship earrings for, for people who have pierced ears. Val? Nice try. Please, Mom. Honey, we've been over this. You're not getting your ears pierced till you're 16. It isn't fair. Don't even start. But, Mom! Brooke. I can't get my ears pierced. I can't wear perfume. I can't even show my belly button. I can't do anything. You've totally ruined my life. It's my job to ruin your life. Oh. Get used to it. Have a nice day. How can you say that a global community means the end of culture? Because now every place in the world has the same expensive coffee and khaki pants. It's the death of the individual. Howdy, party ladies. Oh, except maybe um, how the duty over there. <laughs> I'm trying out for Romeo and Juliet in the Old West. Oh. Or uh, Shakespeare on the Cheap because the arts budget was cut. No, I think you look really, really cute, but what's with the Igor walk? Ah, uh, blister from the boots, which is bad for Romeo. But, you know, Deputy Mercutio could have a lamp and he's got the big shootout. No, no. You'll get Romeo. You always get the lead. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly because there's no competition. And I like acting. It's, it's fun. Anyway, he's got to go. Yeehaw! What life through yonder window breaks, I reckon, is the East and Miss Juliet's the sun. Woo! Here he goes. The rootin' tootin' death of culture. 50% off on bathroom tissues. Oh, and Shakespeare said, yeehaw. Where should I put this stuff for the rummage sale? Look, you're giving away Mr. Moo Cow and your, and your mermaid toy? Um, in case you haven't noticed, I'm growing up. But you love Mr. Moo Cow. He's a toy. I'm interested in other things now, like clothes and jewelry. As in earrings? You know, Mom, in some cultures, they pierce ears when the girls are still babies. Brooke? Hello. Oh, hi, Jen. Yeah, sure. Hey. She won't budge. I... What? You're kidding. No way. Yeah? OK. Bye. Oh, my gosh. That was Jen. Her grandma invited us, Nicole and me and Jen, of course, to come and ride horses for 10 days. Wait, wait, wait. 10 wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What 10 days? When? Not to mention where. In Montana. Her grandma's got a ranch with horses. All we have to pay for is airline tickets and food. Brooke, honey, we can't afford an airline ticket to Montana just like that. But, Mom... Oh, Brooke, please don't whine. Please? Brooke, we're clipping coupons for toilet paper. Give it up. Give it up. You're too young. I can't do anything. I might as well stay in my room until I'm old enough to move out. Mom, if I was ever like that, I so apologize. Don't you remember? You rebelled by self-publishing a pamphlet of anguished poetry. Hey, you got something for a skin burn? I had a bad reaction to some mustache glue. Uh, hold on. I don't know. Hey, what part did you get, man? I didn't. What? During the tragic death scene, I was favoring my blistered foot, which made me spin around, I twisted my ankle, and I landed on my... You get the picture. Yeah, it's too bad. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, look, try this, should help. Hey, guys, we're taking some new test shots for the calendar. <laughs> so this is where you keep the vehicles? What do you call this? The garage. The garage. Oh. Can we get some shots next to the ambulance? Well, no doubt, girl. Sure, anything for Mr. June. Oh, Tyler, you were hysterical at the audition today. I must have laughed off a thousand calories. <laughs> well, glad my humiliation could be of some help. Hey, man, there's a party tonight at Dead Mike's. You want to come? Yeah, the Shaney brothers are going to crush soda cans with their bellies. As fun as that sounds, 
I think I'm gonna sit at home with a plate of my mom's oatmeal cookies and wait for my face to clear up. You know, I didn't even make backstage crew. Last year I was the lead. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, not to me. All right, can we get you up there? You want one? Yeah. A little Tarzan right. action, huh? All right, Tarzan. All right. How did I go from that to this? Hmm? <laughs> 